Let's go ahead and talk some sports. Um, I guess the the biggest real sports news of the day had to be Christian McCaffrey. Uh, would you agree Indeed. with that? Yeah. So Christian McCaffrey, highest paid running back in NFL history, is what they are promoting it as. Uh, he had a what is it a four year sixteen million dollar deal? Yep. So it was what sixty four sixty five million dollars. Yep. Sixty four million dollars. Now they have not said anything about. I think it's I think it's the highest in NFL history per year, right? So sixteen million a year, um, because Zeke's yeah. was fifteen. Zeke's was fifteen. I'm trying to find the guaranteed money. That, that's why I can't find the uh, the breakdown, which we might not have the breakdown yet. Well, it hasn't been like publicly announced by the Panthers. Like the the actual terms haven't fully yeah, been. That's disclosed. what I'm saying. The terms haven't been haven't yeah. been announced. This is this is still fresh. Um, but that is you know it's a lot of money. Now the first thing that I said to you when we brought this up when we were discussing topics for the show was yeah I think McCaffrey's probably worth it. And and my reasoning for that is he's not just a running back. He's you know, there's all of this other stuff. Uh, Michael Fritz jumps in on uh, on Twitch. Apparently, I still don't have him fixed on YouTube. I thought I, thought I had it fixed again. What an ass. I'm just, what I, an ass. No, Get I, him, Michael. Get I, him. I went into the banned section on, or the blocked section on YouTube and on Restream, and he's not in there. So, I don't know where to unblock him from. I, I don't know. But either way, I'm glad he's on Twitch because, like, that, that means we got people watching on Twitch. So, that's good. Uh, I think Twitch is better, by the way. Just off topic. I think it's better. Like, if you're wanting to just watch a show, it's just easier to get to. Anyway, uh, so the McCaffrey stuff, I really believe, like, he is more of a wide receiver, like, slot guy, than he is a, a running back. It, And you can call me crazy. Um, <laughs> Matt said he's got them guns now because he's having to carry that team for the whole season last year. All I know <laughs> is we said the exact same thing when Gurley got paid. Oh, if anybody's worth the money, it's him. Look how good he's been. Yeah. Then Zeke got paid, and we all said the same thing. The Cowboys cannot succeed if Zeke isn't good, so they have to pay him. Don't know about Cooper, don't know about Dak, but they have to pay Zeke. And we were – I just don't think any of these guys are ever worth it. And here's the reason why. It's not that he's not good. It's not that he won't be worth this money. Is how much better is he – than the next rookie running back that you can just go out and get because every year it's not five guys get drafted and one is a star and the other four bust like quarterbacks have been over the last couple of decades. Okay. It's six guys get drafted. Four of them are incredible year one and they cost you a ham sandwich. Yeah. Like, and then once they're at the point where their contract is up, you just let them go and get another one. I mean, this is your tip. All these owners should treat running back like a typical man going through a midlife crisis. Just every three or four years, you just go out and get another one who's younger and hotter than the one you had before. Well, there you Don't go. Don't ever pay them. Never, ever. <laughs> ever. And, and I, I, you explain it so well that I think that you are, I think you're right. Like my it's really initial hard thought, to not let these guys walk though. If I was a yeah. Carolina Panthers fan, let me put myself in their shoes. I'd have been pissed if they wouldn't have paid him. All right. Do yeah. I think he's worth the money? Probably not. Could they use that money somewhere else? Maybe. But right now, I know I have McCaffrey, and until I see decline, I'm good with paying McCaffrey. Yeah. So let me preface this by saying. If I was a McCaffrey fan or, or a Panthers fan, I would want him to have his money, and I would want to do this. I'm just, I think, in a hard salary cap era, it is just extremely difficult to lock that much money up into one player that plays running back. Well, it, so we've got disputing arguments okay. in on the on the chat here. So Michael said, "Love McCaffrey, still have my Ed McCaffrey jersey." Uh, I worry about paying running backs big money, though. Name a time when it has ended well. I don't know it that you hasn't. can. Um, and then and then Matt jumps in and said, you can't replace experience. Oh, sure you can. I think you can position. at the running back position. Absolutely you can. Maybe yeah. not at the center position or the left tackle position. Yeah, those are those are different, but that's what makes running a good running game. A dime a dozen. Yeah, how, I, think, I would 
I would spend money. I've told you this before. I don't know if I've said this on the show or not, but me and you have this conversation. I would pay a premium for a place kicker and a punter before I paid a premium for running back. And it's not that they're not valuable. It's not that they're incredible. I've got four years straight of a draft where four years straight running backs have gone in the first round or second round. And almost all of them have been very good. Not average, not bad. And I don't even need them to be Todd yeah. Gurley good or Christian McCaffrey good or Alvin Kamara good. I, I just need them to be very good to be way over worth the money you're paying them with the rookie salary cap. That's it. It's not, is the guy great? It's, is he great for every dollar he gets you or costs you? What is his yards per dollars equal? Because right now it's going to go way down. Yeah. Before it was the, he was probably was the way best up. value money could ever buy. Yeah. But now, now it goes way, way down. Uh, and don't forget, like he's got a new quarterback that's coming in. Uh, look, oh, when, whole new system. Uh, yeah, new whole new system, whole new everything. But but look, if you just look at, think about the the two games with Cam Newton last year. He was basically worthless. Like uh, he was awful in those two games. And I don't know if that had to do with Cam not being able to get in the ball, or maybe there just wasn't enough repetition with him, or what. Whatever it was. McCaffrey was not good in the games with Cam. And then he was good with Kyle Allen or, or whoever else ended up coming in. And, yeah, he, I mean, what was it, 3,000 yards or 1,000, 1,000, whatever. What was yeah. the thing? Like at so 1,600 yards thousand rushing. Thousand yeah, so he he received a lot and he did all this kind of stuff. Like they, they let him carry that team, but he wasn't doing it when Cam was on the field. And... I wonder so what it's going to be like with Teddy Bridgewater because we don't now know. We only we only have one year of Joe Brady in a college offense with a immensely talented football team where there yes. were stars everywhere you turned around. You just threw the football by an incredible quarterback and it went to somebody who was incredible. Yes. Okay. But Joe Brady's offense, what we know about it is stretch the ball down the field. Stretch the ball. Nobody loves Clyde Edward Solaire more than I do, okay? Yeah. But he, the reason he's going to fall in this draft compared to other running backs, I think he's far better than a lot of these guys. But he doesn't have the tape. He doesn't have the tape because they didn't run the ball a lot. Even when yeah. they were up by 20 and 30 against bad teams, they still just kept just stretching the ball down the field. Well, and part of Whenever the part of that that's going to help him, though. They still stretch the ball down the field. That's, I think that's going to help him a little bit, too, because remember, nowadays in the NFL, a lot of your worth as a running back is whether or not you can catch the ball out of the backfield. That's McCaffrey's thing, right? But you're not catching the ball out of the backfield on these long stretch plays. No, not... Well, when you're taking the top off the defense, which is what that offense does. You're not dumping it off to the running back. No, no, that's just, that's true. He's not doing it. Uh, but McCaffrey like actually runs actual routes a he's lot. He's not running stretch routes, though. but he ain't running stretch routes. No, that's that's true. Uh, but if so, you get, so if that's you get, my but, thing is, is now he becomes like every other running back, which is you're going to hit him with screen plays or or little bubble screens out, out on the outside, which every running back in the league can catch those. You don't have to be a great route that's runner. True. And, and or have good hands to catch those, and or you're running the ball off tackle, off guard, and and your job as a running back is not special. You don't need a special running back that can do all the things McCaffrey can do to run the offense I think they're going to run. It's a weird thing where I think they saw we got to keep this guy around, but if they want their offense to look like what the, the, the LSU Tigers offense looked like last year, then, then they could draft seven of the the running backs available, and all of them be capable of doing that. Yeah, they, what they need is uh, is better. Because tight none ends. of those run, Clyde never went yeah. downfield and caught the ball 15, 20 yards downfield. He caught little bubble screens and yeah. dump passes, which is what every running back can do. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Now, I think I think obviously it'll change up a little bit. Matt jumped in. He said uh, longevity as well, not getting hit a lot. Yeah, that's. That's a big part of it. That's why Josh well, he Jacobs hit was a such punch. A Did you see the workload that he had last year? Oh yeah, yeah. And and statistics. See, I don't think. I think he might have been I talking about Clyde edwards helaire I don't think that a kid is going to a kid. Caffrey's a grown ass man. 
Like I watched him last year and I say, oh, well, he's not going to fall off this year, but it might all add up. But every time we've seen a guy have the usage rate like McCaffrey had last year, which was better, he had a higher usage rate than I think any any non-quarterback in the history of the NFL has ever had. Yeah, if he was on the field the highest, all the time. It was really close to all-time level high. Okay? And, and we always see them drop off. There's always a cliff that next year. Now, you don't see it. Like, I think that'll hurt him three years from now because all these miles add up. They seem to hurt almost immediately. Yeah. Which is why, like I said, as a fan of the Panthers, I would want him. I would feel comfortable. He's that, he's that safety blanket. He's that little blankie I grew up with where I'm just always going to keep him, and I don't ever want to live life without him. But I kind of – anybody else, I say, if I'm looking at this strictly analytically, there's no way on earth I'm paying that kind of money. It's just not yeah. – hard salary cap year. I could go draft one of these running backs in the second or third round this year and replace him tomorrow. Now, will they be just as good? No, but we're running a completely different offense than we've ever ran. We got a new quarterback. We got a new quarterback's coach. We got a new a new offensive coordinator, <laughs> a new head coach. Everything's going to be different. Yeah. So why overpay? And I mean, it's you, hard. you got a you got a valid point there. It's I mean, all hard. Uh, speaking of hard, we'll transition into this. We'll. 